All right, quick video today to answer a question that honestly I'm not, I don't know the answer to. See, I've got my pressure test gauge connected to, uh, this is the uh, dipper arm for the backhoe. So here's the question. How do you adjust the pressure for the backhoe? And so my answer has been the backhoe has pressure relief valves. And I think it has multiple based on the schematic that, that we see. But since this backhoe is on the same circuit as the implement circuit of the tractor, is it actually a situation where you know the weakest link, which is say your backhoe is set to 2600 psi, but your loader SCV is set to uh, 2000 PSI. Are you going to get 2000 or 2600? I think the answer is you're going to get 2000, but we're about to find that out. So I'm making some assumptions here that the pressure relief valve on the backhoe is more than what I've got mine set at, which is I think 21, 21 to 2200. If it is, then I'm going to increase uh, this, the pressure while we're running uh, about um, 400 PSI. So one full turn should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 PSI. I'm not gonna, I only have one pressure gauge. I'm not gonna go over and decide, you know, to put it at a specific spec. Just gonna put it up there temporarily. The other thing I could do is I could go down. Um, but since most people are interested in pressure increase, I think it's important to go up if we can. And, and we have the room here. So I'm gonna start it up. We'll, see, we'll get an initial reading. I'm going to go over, I've already got the wheel off, uh, I'm going to change the uh, pressure on the tractor, and we'll do it again, Let's see how it goes. So there was your answer. It indeed affects uh, the backhoe when you adjust the SCV, uh, mid SCV pressure on the tractor. So what I'll do as a part of this is I'll give you what the factory spec is on the backhoe. I think I have access to that. Um, obviously mine is set at 2200 and I think we'll have to look back at the video, but that one turn looked like it brought it up to closer to 24, 2500. So that was enough to translate to here, but at some point you will overtake your uh, pressure relief valves in the backhoe. So you may have a situation where this is say 2600 PSI, you turn your loader to 2700, you're still only getting 2600 PSI here. So the short answer to the question though that everybody wants to know is if you feel like your backhoe is weak, uh, be sure to check your pressure on your implement circuit on the tractor because that has a direct effect on um, on the pressure you're going to get with your backhoe as well as your loader hope this was helpful thanks for watching